introduction, everyone. I'm Mary Good Match. I'm playing one of the eye doctors in the four fields. I'm going to introduce you to a story that inspired this project. So, this is Mike, one of our real patients in Moorfields. He is a third year medical student, halfway through his study, lost sight of both eyes permanently within six weeks of each other. He stood outside our hospital just down the road, um, holding his blind registration in his hand and actually lost and being derailed from his life plan of training to be a doctor. He didn't want to give up, but he doesn't know what to do, so he actually wrote to the Home Secretary at the time who is working with um, severe sight loss and by chance accidentally did discover a charity called Business um, for Garden. Um, so this is Chad, the communications officer, enthusiastic for business in the blind, desperate to try and people find people like Mike to help, but he is a very well-funded charity, but very little known um, to people who need. The problem with um, this situation is me as the eye doctor, patient look to me and say, what can I do, what can I help? There are two million people in the UK living with, with sight loss. Um, it costs NHS 28 billion pounds a year. Um, me as eye doctor, I only know seven out of the 517 eye-related charities in the UK. And how do I connect people? Do I actually know what Mike needs? So I bring this project to Hackday and to ask the smart people to come up with a solution. So one of the things we did was we wanted to do use research to understand the size and the scale of the issue was. And what we found was, although there are apps out there like the NHS app, which has information about charities and services, what is missing is a way of linking those two people together in a way that identifies those individual needs. And what we were thinking was, if you've been diagnosed with a new condition, the last thing you want to do is struggle to try and find help and support out there for you. And although there are lots of different sources, they are very sporadic and tend to be quite lengthy databases. Not only this, that, but there's a growing trend for social prescribing from doctors in primary care, and it also kind of leads to the agenda of empowering patients, but then there's interventions for that NHS support. So the solution is an app um, which helps people find the charities and services that they need. So we've got a quick demo here. Uh, the first screen you have um, you your age, your periscope, and a condition that you might have, and that will help us filter down the um, charities and services that um, you can use might need. So you can swipe away ones that you might not be interested in at this time, or you can click on ones that Oh, you might be interested in that one. Um, and it'll tell you who they are, what they do, um, where they are, and how you can contact them. And then we also offer um, products or apps on top of these charities. And then if you don't find what you need, you can contact us and we can find gaps in where we can have an extra charity. So we know we're not going to solve social prescribing overnight with a single app. But that's why we're really starting small. We're going from sight loss because we have medical domain expertise in the team, going from Corgi because it's geographically limited. fun to see. Um, how much have you thought about the accessibility of what you're building, uh, or is that in the future, or are you expecting your users to be sighted like the clinicians? Um, so we've tried to be as accessible as possible within the time constraint that we had. Understandable. Um, we really wanted to make sure that people could swipe left and right and that anyone could use it because um, we potentially, we've got it down to eye um, treatment now, but we could widen it and that could, you know, anyone who would use charity um, would use the app. And another, another answer to that question would be that not all registers of blind people are actually unable to see or read. So they could be navigational sight loss rather than actually reading sight loss. And we find that there is also a concern with whether the patient is elderly or not IT friendly or illiterate enough. There are carers and carers spend a lot of unpaid hours helping looking after their patients. Um, and their family and friends, so if they could be directed to use this as well, that would bring help more accessible to them. Brilliant, thanks. We, we've got a question from the audience. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, would it be reasonable to say that this app could be made accessible with a screen reader as well? That's what we thought, is that it could be built in that anyone could use it within the limitations of any other website. It was definitely my first question when I joined this group was. We're making an app people can see, um, but it's it's really been drilling down to understand that it's, it's something they can use, and I can say to them that there's absolutely no way they can interact with websites that we've kind of lost the battle already. Uh, so finding ways to work around that. Is really 
Okay, great. Thank you very much.